So today we're going to be learning about text structure. The Common Core Standard that aligns with text structure is RI 4.5. RI stands for Reading Informational Text, so we're going to be focused on that nonfiction type of text today. The standard reads, describe the overall structure, example given, chronology, comparison, cause and effect, problem and solution of events, ideas, concepts, or information in a text or a part of a text. Now that's a lot of information, let's break it down. Structure literally just means to organize. And when we ask how an author has organized their text, we're either asking about the entire text or just a portion of the text, thus a paragraph or a section of the text. By the end of this video, you'll be able to name and identify all the different types of text structures. But you might ask, Mrs. Tynes, I still don't know what a text structure is. Let's further define it. How the author organizes the information he or she is producing. You'll notice that you will consistently see the word organized, how the author organizes, and text structure used interchangeably. They mean the same thing. Why is it important? When we understand how an author meant to organize the text, it helps us comprehend what we read. It also can help us when we're trying to find specific information back in the text to help us better answer multiple choice, short response, or an essay question. How many text structures are there? There are a total of five text structures, and we're going to learn about all five today. First being chronology or sequence also can be known as time order. After reading an article, you have to ask yourself this question. Is this piece of writing telling me the order of events? And if so, you most likely will see transitional words like first, next, last, then, after that, etc. Or you will see specific dates signaling when certain events occurred. Compare and contrast. You have to ask yourself this question. Is this piece of writing telling me how things are similar or different? When we've determined that it is compare and contrast text structure, we use something called a Venn diagram. On the outsides of the Venn diagram, you use, um, that's where you put the information that is different. And on the inside of the Venn diagram, it's where the components are alike. Cause and effect. After reading a, an article, a passage, a text, you have to ask yourself this question. Is this piece of writing explaining why something happened? The why would be the cause. The effect would be what occurred after that cause. Problem and solution. Is this piece of writing telling me how a problem can be solved? It can also be mentioned as question and answer. That's the use of the question mark and the light bulb here for the solution. Problems are usually presented at the beginning of articles or texts where solutions or a singular solution is provided throughout the text. Description. Is this piece of writing describing something in detail? Usually, the topic is mentioned at the beginning of the text. It's usually the subject matter, and then each paragraph goes into further description as to a component of the topic. So let's review. There are a total of five different types of text structures, first being chronology, also known as time order or sequence of events, compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution, also known as question and answer, and description. So comment below and tell me where I should base our next video out of, either the beach, an amusement park, or maybe even the school.